Hi, so in this video, I want to show you guys how to convert your DAW to a classic SSL console. So it is possible to get that fantastic, legendary sound within your DAW. Some of us work in the box. Some of us don't have any outboard gear. But what if I told you guys, you can get that legendary SSL sound. It doesn't matter what DAW you're using, as long as you're able to run plugins. So in this video, I'm working with Pro Tools. I won't be able to play anything for you guys. I don't have permission to play this session. But here's a session that I'm currently working on. I'm in the middle of a mix. But to be honest, I don't need to play anything back for you guys. I want to show you how to set this up. So here's what I ended up doing. I ended up putting the SSL e-channel on every single track that I'm working with. So if we go over to the mixer window, check it out. That's the first plugin on the chain. I have the channel strip. From there, I'm going to the Shep 73, which is emulating a hardware EQ, which is fantastic. So think of plugins like external gear. We have the channel strip plugin and here we have our external gear. That's the way I think of it. You don't have to think of it that way. But if you're working with a classic analog console, that's how they did it. You had your board. Yes, within this channel strip, you have your EQ, your compression, you have your gate. But if you're looking for a specific sound, you might want to go grab that LA-2A or that 1176, or you want to grab a Neve EQ. Now we're in a step further to get that SSL sound. We're going to go all the way to the master bus. And in my master bus, have a high quality meter. I want to see my levels. So over here, I'm using a wonderful plugin. It's emulating a Fairchild compressor. Very expensive unit. But let me tell you, this plugin sounds fantastic. By the way, it's a Waves plugin. And you can find this specific plugin within the JJP collection. So the way I have this working, I'm not really doing a lot here. It's very subtle. The meters are slightly moving. Then, right under that, I have the SSL compressor. And over here, I'm getting around 4 dB of reduction, and it's gluing everything together. Now, every session is different. Then under that, I have a limiter. Over here, I have my new gen audio. Just want to check the signal. I want to know how it sounds in mono. Another thing that's pretty important, all these plugins have a sweet spot. If you want the best out of them, you want to make sure you're hitting that sweet spot. Now, normally, I want to see the signal idle between 20 and 10. No more than that. That's reasonable. Now you might see something like this. Once you start adding EQ, you're gonna clip the plugin. That's already too hot. So you wanna take advantage of clip gain. So that's pretty much to it. That's how you get that SSL sound within your DAW. So here's what I want you to do. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. First time watching, subscribe. Press that bell to get future notifications. Also, check the description for some information. And if you want to have a discussion, post in the bottom. Let's talk about it. This is Ray, and I'm out of here. Later, guys.